Hello and welcome back to English Idea. This is Rim Alam and I am back with another 60 minute long practice test video. But before I proceed with my today's video, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new content. Now without further ado, let's start learning. This is a full length practice test. Duolingo will ask you if you want to participate in this full length practice test. You can choose to not to and move on with the basic practice test. As you can see on the screen, it is clearly stated that participation includes the opportunity to practice in an authentic testing experience with a full 60 minute test and a score range estimate that will be better indicator for how well you will do on the certified test keep in mind that your participation is voluntary which means you can choose not to participate in this also remember duolingo will record and collect the spoken responses that you make for their research purposes as you can see on the screen that i have checked in one of the boxes which says i agree to participate in the study and consent to duolingo's collection storage and use of spoken responses for the purpose listed above only if you agree to this you can continue with the with the full length practice test which will take about 55 to 60 minutes I was named after my uncle. I was named after my uncle. I was named after my uncle. Generally. Generally. Opposition. Opposition. Analyst. Analyst. programmer programmer gene gene terminated 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 possibber pos possibber possibber frightly frightly near sighted near sighted generally opposition analyst programmer gene terminated near sighted frightly possibber near sighted near sighted
some areas expect a three-year apprenticeship followed by the option of becoming master butcher. Dogs often bury bones. Dogs often bury bones. Dogs often bury bones. If you want to know more about these ruins, you should ask an archaeologist. They could use their cars to drive to work in the city. They could use their cars to drive to work in the city. They could use their cars to drive to work in the city. Many of my students have told me how sometimes they don't understand the accent or maybe they do not catch up with the speed of the audio and uh, due to that they, they may not write the correct sentence, they may miss a word or two. So this is for everyone. Remember even if you do such mistakes in this type of question, in uh, listen and write type of questions, it's all right mistake is bound to happen regardless of anything so when you make a mistake like this instead of freaking out i suggest everyone to move on with your questions and don't think about it if you carry on your exam with the thought that um, you know you did a mistake you missed a word or two in your last question you will make more mistakes because you are thinking about the mistake you have made previously and because of that thought you will make more mistakes in the rest of the questions so this is for everyone out there whoever is giving any kind of exam any kind of professions english proficiency exam when you make a mistake just forget it and move on with the rest of the question it's all right mistakes are bound to happen After water is purified, it is used throughout and around the stadium. Score gain. Score gain. Evolve. 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 Supplement. Supplement. Solution. Solution. Commercious. Commercious. True two. True two. Convert. Convert. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Hum meat. Hum meat. Evolve. Convert. Uncomfortable.
A male horse is a stallion, and a female horse is a mare. A male horse is a stallion, and a female horse is a mare. A male horse is a stallion, and a female horse is a mare. Eligible. Eligible. Precaution. Precaution. Consoli. Consoli. Accuracial. Accuracial. Impated. Impated. Dunches. Dunches. Internuous. Internuous. Bilingual. Bilin bilingual. Inferior. Inferior. Eligible. Precaution. Bilingual. Inferior. Consoli. Dunches. Impated. Accuracial. Internuous.
Most genes belong to larger families of genes of shared ancestry. Most genes belong to larger families of genes of shared ancestry. Most genes belong to larger families of genes of shared ancestry. A continuous signal can be drawn as a wave or as a combination of several waves. The institution's concern for the well-being of its employees is commendable. The institution's concern Many for the well-being of its employees is commendable. Sometimes they don't understand the accent or maybe they The institution's do not catch up concern the for the well-being of, of its employees and, uh, due is to commendable. That they they may not write the correct sentence. They may miss a word or two. So this is for everyone. Remember, even if you do such mistakes in this type of question, in uh, listen and write type of questions, it's all right. Mistake is bound to happen regardless of anything. So when you make a mistake like this, instead of freaking out, I suggest everyone to move on with your questions and don't think about it. If you carry on your exam with the thought that um, you know you did a mistake, you missed a word or two in your last question, you will make more mistakes because you are thinking about the mistake you have made previously. And because of that thought, you will make more mistakes in the rest of the questions. So this is for everyone out there, whoever is giving any kind of exam, any kind of professions, English professions exam, when you make a mistake, just forget it and move on with the rest of the question. It's all right. Mistakes are bound to happen. Humidable, humidable, irredent, irredent, arbitrary, arbitrary, retroon, retroon, integrity, integrity, expirable, expirable, fuchsure, 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 frandature, frandature, irreversible, irreversible, arbitrary, integrity, irreversible. Expirable, frandature, irredent, humidable, retroon, fuchsure. They then try to patent the seed and sell them back to the poor countries.
In the basic practice test, you will get only one interactive reading. But as you can see in this video, you have two interactive readings. Even in the real test, you will have two interactive readings. I have discussed about interactive reading thoroughly in my two other videos. They are solely about interactive reading and how you should choose your answers, what kind of questions you get in interactive reading, what you should do in, tra in interactive reading and so on. To learn more about interactive reading, don't forget to check the description box. The links of those two videos will be, giv will be given there.
and this is the start of two most important part of the Duolingo English test even in the real exam you will come across the main writing and speaking part towards the end of the test I have videos solely about writing and speaking you can check them out to learn more the link to those videos will be given in the description below don't forget to check them out Once you are done writing your answer, revise before submitting it. Go through your answer once again from the start till the end so that you can find out if there is any mistake you have made or maybe you have missed out any word. Maybe you can uh, use a better word instead of using a, a basic word. There is a lot you can do if you go through once again. It is very important to revise before submitting. What are some of the advantages of modern life? 
What are some of the advantages of modern life? What are some of the advantages of modern life? Today I'm going to talk about uh, some advantages of modern life. Um, well, I there are many advantages since we are living in this life. Uh, you know, we are living in a very good era. If you compare our life uh, with the with the people who lived in the 90s, you can understand that we are very lucky, very privileged to be born in this uh, in this modern. Uh, life in this modern era so the first uh, advantage is that we are able to access internet and get connected with our friends and family in matter of seconds whereas back uh, in the 90s or in the 80s they had to write letters and wait for weeks or months to get a reply back so that's first advantage and uh, moreover the second advantage uh, is that we are able to have clean and better water we don't have to worry about uh, the water being um, dirty or uh, you know get have some disease in it the third advantage is that uh, we are living we, we, we live in a in a society in a culture that has changed over the years over the decades we women are being respected more than what uh, more than the amount of respect that women back in the 90s or 80s had received this is a picture of a group of people running marathon um, there are people from different age group race culture uh, religion uh, they all are wearing uh, dresses which are uh, athletically correct uh, so they are wearing tank tops and uh, shorts or uh, boxes that, that, that are you know they are comfortable in um, they are running in middle of the street perhaps that street or that road has been uh, opened only for this marathon So the person that I'm going to describe uh, describe today, uh, somebody who is very well organized, uh, that person is my sister. Uh, she is Sanjida Islam, and uh, they they know how to, you know, she knows how to uh, stay organized very well. Um, you know, when she comes from work, when she comes home from work, I see her, you know, immediately. Uh, you know make herself up you know even though she's tired she immediately makes her room good enough you know so that she can like uh, you know take rest and whatsoever she cleans all the time you'll always see her doing something or another in the room or making something doing something in the kitchen so she is organized she has been prepared this way since a very long time um, she knows how to do what how to make what and uh, no i am not at all well, well organized i am a very messy person uh, i'm a very lazy person yes uh, you know to mention that she is a very very active person she's not lazy she doesn't um, you know she doesn't just lay down and daydreams uh, she's she's very active she she is a nurse and uh, i'm very proud uh, that she's my sister what kinds of donations can people make to help charities? What kinds of donations can people make to help charities? What kinds of donations can people make to help charities? I think people can make any kind of donations in the charities uh, as long as they are those cha uh, those donations are um, you know they can be reused. So money is, is first in the list. They can always donate money. Uh, they can always donate food. Uh, you know whether they are uh, I hope they are like you know not uh, not expired but the, um, I, the, the the foods they they should be we should be donating uh, they should be edible um, the third thing that can be donated is clothes if you are having extra clothes that you don't wear or maybe they are you know your they are small now you, you don't fit in them 
instead of throwing it away you can always donate those in the charities and uh, clothes will always come in handy somewhere someone is in need of that one cloth that you don't need uh, definitely clothes come in the list uh, the fourth thing that you can donate is um, appliances for example there is something in your house that you don't need anymore you, you know these this appliances are not being used anymore you can donate it you know somebody maybe needs it somebody can use it you never know I have videos solely about writing and speaking sections the type of questions you just saw for writing or speaking in this video I have talked about this I have discussed I have shared how you can answer these questions what you should do for these questions thoroughly in my other videos I will put the link of those videos in my description below don't forget to check them out.
So today I'm going to talk about an activity that uh, I think improve physical health and that activity is um, walking every day. Uh, but before that, uh, before you go for a jog, you should have warm water and after that you should start running. I think this two com- uh, this two combination uh, you know it, it helps a lot to improve your uh, physical health. Um you know when you walk when you run or you know you just have like a 15 minute of uh, uh, of movement this tends to affect your physical health a lot you know when you are just sitting around you know you wake up in the morning and you just you know make breakfast and eat and go to go to your work or go to your school you don't really uh, make your body uh, you don't really have that body movement you don't really do any kind of um, activity so you should be at least walking or uh, you know you should at least go for a run for at least 15 minutes um, like I said previously before you go for a walk or run you should have a glass of warm water and after that you should go for a jogging you should go for jogging or walking and uh, once you're back uh, and I think we should, uh, you know, we, we should educate people on uh, body activity and, you know, what happens if you, you know, do not uh, go for exercise, if you do not do exercises or, you know, if you just sit around. I, I think we should educate people to let people know that, you know, what's the aftermath of, uh, you know, being, uh, being lazing around and what's the aftermath of if you at least have 15 minutes of walk every day. Uh, only if we let these people know I think that's how people will be encouraged to you know to do such activities if we do not let them know and if we just expect people to uh, go for walk and jogging you know we, we they, they don't know the benefits so they, they will never do it so we should educate them we should let them know and that's how they will be encouraged to do it And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope it was helpful and informative. Don't forget to give a like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new content.